Welcome back to episode 5 of Car Mechanic Simulator. I'm Bobby from Console Sim Hub, and today we're going to take a look at the AC Cobra or Shelby Cobra if you're from America. Um, this obviously is entitled as that, but it is the DC Typhoon. It's quite obviously an AC Cobra. And uh, yeah, I found this one in the junkyard, and we're going to have a look around it, see what it's like. It's missing a few body panels, but uh, let's see what the overall condition is. So, Body condition is 9%, parts condition is 14%, frame is 12, and interior is 35. Obviously, it's missing one of the seats. So, I've brought over the welder, and we're going to go straight on to welding the body. And it looks perfect again. Obviously, this doesn't have uh, fender panels. Um, so, once you weld it up, that'll be fine, apart from the door. So, let's just take that off now whilst we can. And I think we need to take off the front window and the left side mirror and I think that's everything you can take off the front well the exterior as opposed to the light yeah they're not coming up either there's that fuel cap anything on the grill no front bumper is missing so let's just take that left headlight out now um, I'm gonna get the engine out so bear with us get that loaded up over here And that's the wrong engine. <laughs> Bear with us, that's from the Mazda RX, uh, RX7 build. So let's take that off. Why won't it let us? Why won't it let us take the engine off? Okay, okay. Um, add engine, nothing to work with. Have I just lost my engine? Have I lost it? No, it's there. Okay, why, why won't you take it out? Oh, no, the gearbox. I didn't read what it said, did I? I just jumped straight in. So, let's get this out of the way. We're jumping and take that gearbox off. Poor start, Bobby. Poor start. Oh. Can't take it off till the drive shaft's off. Alright, that's that. Let's get this gearbox off. Right, so on this one, I don't care if it's new parts or old parts, as long as they're all set at 100%. We'll get this engine out now. <coughs> so it's a V8, so this would be uh, modelled off the Shelby Cobra, because they put a V8 in that. Let's just get you out of the way. What's left in the engine base? It's just the coolant and the oh, and the battery as well. So let's get rid of the SC. Let's get rid of battery and let's get rid of that brake servo. I'm gonna go put the battery on charge over here. Right. Let that uh, do its thing and we will start stripping the rest of the car apart. So we'll get the wheels off, suspension out, everything that we can. Exhaust that pop out the side instead of at the rear. Get everything refurbished and start rebuilding. Now in my last video I said I'm not going to paint this blue because the next car I want is blue and then I've done it like a, I call it a Cadbury's blue, um, like a purpley blue, it was an old Ford colour I believe. So yeah, I might have two blue cars in a row, sorry about that. but. I think this one should stay factory standard. Might make it the chrome effect just so uh, just so it looks shinier. But we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Because if you can remember from the last episode, I was quite impressed with the the metallic paint job, which I, I vocally said how I don't like the metallic texture in this game. So yeah, we'll see what it looks like. See what comes out. Just strip that off. Get the bottom suspension arm off. Oh, let's zoom out of that. That's not what I wanted to do. Hit you off and the knuckle. All right, this is one side pretty much stripped down. That was quicker than I thought. One rubber bushing and we'll get the other one. Whilst I can see that exhaust. We'll get rid of that and that one. And onto this tyre. Well, wheel. I 
I'm hoping that they do manage to get licenses for certain cars because obviously you can see in this game there's a lot of them that are um, that are certain cars that are just obviously named differently because they couldn't get the license in for it and I really do hope that they get a license in for some of the cars I'd love to see a Toyota Super in it I've seen it on a modded version um, whether or not Toyota are going to give them a license and they can do it on the console version I'm not sure but I would absolutely love to see it if I could get that out Ooh, I always do that, I go for the arm without taking the sway bar off. Let's get that main sway bar off. On suspension arm, right up that suspension arm. Lower. And then we'll get the inner and out the tie rod ends off. I'm just going to grab that bush because I can see it there. And we'll get the CR up once we've got the inner and out as off. Let's have a look around, looks like the front's nearly stripped down. There. Looking at the subframe, yeah, that's dropped. Now onto the rear of the car. Let's just take out what we can before I take the wheels off. We have shock fuel pump. Oh, it's a drum setup on the back. I was expecting this. I know it's an old car, but for some reason I expected they'd put discs in on this. But okay, let's get that off. Make sure. Right. Over this side. Now, usually I spin the camera around and I show the balls from there, but I'm trying to do this a little bit quicker. I don't want the video to drag on too long, but I'm not doing any more part one, two, and threes if I can help it. So, I'm going to do this in one straight shot. See how fast we can get through it. Get rid of that bushing. Can I get the angle for the other bushing? No, I can't. Bear with me. It's not going to let us. Let's go over here. I cannot control this curse that saved my life today. There we go. Oh, I left something on that side, okay. Right, that is everything from underneath the car. Let's drop you back down, get the interior out. What steering wheel is this? Steering wheel typhoon, okay, so it's got wrong button, it's got its own steering wheel. Right, let's see what we can repair out of that. Right, I'm also going to go and split the tires off the rim. And the suspension. I don't think we can save anything on it, but I'll try. It's only shown three there, it should only be shown two, so I think I must have saved one on the RX7.
Yeah, I must have saved a few parts from the RX-7 because there's only 18 inch uh, wheels. Take this out of here. How many rims have we got? Three, so we still need to buy one. We do, don't we? Yeah, we don't have one over here. Okay. Nothing turned up from the spring puller, so I'll take the parts out. And let's start stripping the engine down. Should be a nice easy one, I'm hoping. Yeah, we've got two uh, valve push rods. Oh, let's just zoom in a little bit. We'll get a better shot of this. A rocker arm. Looks like we're buying all new rocker arms. What's blocking you? Ah, didn't even see those there. around and rod caps on the pistons strange Cover there as well. Didn't even notice that. Flywheel and whatnot on the other side. Which release being you can't see because of the engine stand, but it is there. Out and then can we take that out? Yes, we can. Use it with an engine block. There we'll have it. Let's get repairing. We'll delete all the all the parts that didn't make the cut. I really shouldn't bash the buttons over and over when I'm doing that. Right, let's go part mount. Oh, that didn't make the cut. Okay. Where's the block? Can't see it for looking. Let's just do this. That's the V8 OHV that we're looking for. Oh, which one is it? Is it just the OHV or is it the OHVC? No, it's not because it. That would be. It's got to be that one. $2,500. Yeah, that's correct. Crankshaft made the cut, good. I don't think any pistons did. No. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm just going to go in and delete everything that isn't required. So let's see. 
Ooh, type oh. Have I missed something underneath? I don't need a camshaft. Let me just get a better angle. Right, what is it that we need there? Camshaft V8 wage V. I also need crankshaft bearing caps and rod caps. Caps on the left there. Also, if I can get, can I get that? Yeah, we'll put that in. Did I not buy the right one? That's oh, a camshaft, and I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Could have swap brought the right one. Just get that in so it's done. Didn't see that one there. Where is he? There he is. I know I don't have one of those. Let's spin this bad boy around. Oops, wrong one. Let's see. Oh, right, did we get an engine head? We did. Good. Rocker arms? No. I need sixteen of them.
Right, what do we need? Engine head cover B, V, which V. Um, it is cover A, so I'm going to buy one of them. Where's just the mid B? I'm assuming these are the head covers for each side. I might be wrong, it might be two of B. We'll find out. Right, spark plug, ignore them for now. Did we get an intake manifold? Yes, we did. Four barrel carb. Another. What's next? I don't have one of them, I know that. Wait, did I just look at the wrong thing there? Hold on. Yeah, I did. Round air filter base 2 carb. Right, there should be everything for here. Nice and shiny, nice. Right. What are these bits here? Mission coil. Let's just zoom out on that. That's too close for me. should all be correct. These didn't come on the car so I knew I had to buy new. Yeah. And the cap's the standard one. Let's get an alternator. I can't see it for looking. Where is it? There it is. The cover made the cut. Good. There was no water pump on and there was no crankshaft poly so. I think I've seen a few filter before. Yep, there's a few filter. Power steering pump. Oh, it did have one, alright. Time for a belt, which one is it? Super tight belt B. There it is. Do I have a belt A? Just in case I need it, I might as well get it while I'm here. No, I can't see it. No, there it is. No doubt we'll need it. Water pump pulley. Uh, 
Oh, that's a supercharger one, but it's just a standard one I need. side and I need two exhaust manifolds. Where is it? Need which V. Get them all and then we can just finish off that uh, one side of the head. Ooh, oil filter as well. Didn't have one on. Let's get that now before I forget it. Where is it? V, H, O, H, V, black one. Spin this around and we'll start putting the rods in. Oh, I, need I thought I bought 16 of them. Oh, wrong one. Must have only bought eight. Silly me. Let's get a better view of this with the camera. Oh, that's too far out, mate. Zoom is in a little bit. Thank you very much. These little fiddly bits that are appearing. Ooh, spark plugs. Just seen them there. We need to get eight of them bad lads. Next one. Last one there. Get this manifold on before I forget it. Right, back on the other side because idiot over here forgot the spark plugs. Then I'd be crying later that the engine isn't starting. Also need the ignition, uh, ignition wires. I think we call them this. Be it ignition wires. Right. Bar the clutch and flywheel that you see there. I believe that is everything for this engine so let's back out away from that it's looking good it's gonna look good in the car let's get you up on the ramp and see what we need to buy and what we can salvage with the parts so fuel tank didn't make it we'll get that later the leaf spring right I 
just realised. Stocking up on the bushings, because you know we're going to need a lot of them. Let's go over to the knuckle housing. Right, we've got no knuckle housing, so it looks like a lot of parts are going to have to be bought for this one. Right, what do you need rear shock absorber B? Again, rear axle knuckle housing B. Get you on. The wheel will make it. Get that ball. Rear drive axle, I need two of them. And whilst we're here, let's just buy the brakes just in case. Two of them, please. Two of them, please. Two of them, please. Oh, it looks like the drum wheel cylinder did get saved. The brake shoes, one set of brake shoes did. Right, that side is up tire. Let's spin around, make sure there's nothing I've missed here. No. Let's get the fuel tank and the fuel tank, well, the fuel pump. find out now if one of the fuel pumps made it. No, oh, they did. Well, I just wasted money. Story of my life though, to be honest. And I've just realised that I never put the plate on the spring leaf. Leaf spring, sorry. It's okay, we can go back and get that in a second. I'll put one on this and see, make sure that we've got them. Yeah, we do. Do I have the U-bolts as well? Yes, we do. Nice. Let's get up here and get this all bolted up. drum. Is that one good to go? the rear built up. Let's have a look at the front. Oh, wrong one. I want a part member board. Right, let's get the cross member in. All of the rubber bushings. Last one. Right, did the steering rack make it? It did, nice. This is a good start. Well, good start on the front. Right, we've got no in as, so I'm going to assume we've got no out as, so let's just get all now.
You know what's going to happen though? The inners have, haven't made it in there, but I have, basically. Let's just chuck this one from over here. What can we see there? What does that front sway bar be? You didn't make it. Oh. Sick of typing. You would think that I had it set in so if you type, it automatically types. But, no, no. They didn't. You still have to press X even if you're using the keyboard. Let's get over here so we can see what we're doing. No, no, the tire rods made it, so I'm glad I bought them now. Ah, at least the bottom made it. Two of them. Need another suspension arm for the other side. The front axle nut will cover. We'll need one of them as well. I'll forget this by the time we get across the other side. Did the bearings make it? No. I know the disc didn't make it because I don't even think it had any on. Oh, I know it would have because I stripped the wheels off, so it definitely would have. What's that? Double wishbone shock. I'll buy them now. Caps might have made it, but I'm not taking the risk. I need discs, I don't know why I came off that. Let's just go straight to brakes. Buy two ventilated discs for the front. I'm going to buy two sets of brake pads, but I'm hoping that the calipers have made it. If they haven't, we can easily just go back in. Yep. Okay, I need to buy a second door. Ah, wait. Wheel hub cap. Right, sweet. That, that side done and dusted. Sorry, that side. Let's walk around to the correct side now. God. Done a table and didn't even notice it. Put that on. Let's get the disc on. Bearing in. Cap on. I need to buy another. Caliper. Don't I? Yes, I do.
get the springs made up. Come on. Right. Lower it down, have a look, see what we can get on the engine bay. Let's go get that battery before I forget about it so we can load that in. Brake servo needs to be fitted. Engine needs to drop in. Right, we need a brake servo. Battery made the cut, obviously. Did really, I see? Yes, it did. Good, right. Let's get a brake servo now. I need to do that one of the car. Let's get the engine dropped in. Get me engine crane. Move it to the car. That's you installed, so let's get rid of you. Oh, you look pretty, don't you? Anything missing from in here apart from gearbox and stuff on the back? Wheels, no, okay. Let's have a look at the exhaust. Did any of them save? No. We are muffler day. There is one. My two is over there. Fly wheel didn't make the cut, so I'm gonna buy the clutch stuff while I'm here as well. Fly wheel on. Clutch plate. Oh, one did make the cut, so fair enough. The pressure plate? No, oh, one of them didn't, so I'm glad I kind of bought everything. Release bearing. Yeah, just the one. So yeah, it's worth buying it. Gearbox made it good. I see you start on the side there. Yeah, we need to start it for a V8. Did the drive shaft make it? It did indeed. Good. Right, I think that's everything underneath the car, apart from the wheels and that rear shock absorber. God knows why I missed that. So let's go have a look at some wheels. 17 inch rim typhoon. What tyres are on this bad boy? Race tyre bay, okay. Race tire B. Where is it? There it is. 17s. Oh, don't press B once you've set it up, you idiot.
Wait. Let's try something. Yeah, we can paint the uh, we can paint the rims. So let's pick a color. Uh, actually, actually, can I paint them anything other than metallic? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, zero zero brightness at a hundred in chrome. Right, you been painted. I wonder if there's a way that you can do all four at once instead of instead of us having to do this because it's a bit of a joke when you're doing wheels. But I haven't figured it out with you. So if anybody knows, let us know in the comments below. Right, they're all painted chrome, so they should look good on the car. And if they don't, I do sincerely apologise. Install the parts. Yeah, that chrome looks cool. I'm happy with that. Whoa, what have I done there? Oh yeah, that's a mic there. Right, that's a thingy percent. Right, where is my Mazda rim? I can't see it. Okay. It's gone. Okay, it's vanished. We'll just ignore that. Oh, it's because it has me balanced, that's why. Oh my god, that chrome looks amazing. Kinda wish it went bigger. Whilst we're waiting on that, wrong button, press X Bobby, let's go to the body spot. Actually, is there anything in the tuning shop? Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, we're buying the bumpers from here. No, we're not. We're buying the headlights. But I'm going to leave the rest and we're going to go to the body spot. And we're going to buy everything. Well, apart from headlights. Take that. Take that. Balance that. Get this wheel on. Now remember, I'd already said we're keeping it standard. I might change it to chrome as well, I said, to make it a bit glossier looking. Sweet. Let's move the car. It's gonna let well. No, I can't. 
Can I move it like this? Yes, I can if I stop pressing the wrong button, Bobby. Let's put him over there. Right, now we can work on him a little bit better. So, assemble mode. I went with slightly different headlights, so the headlines going down instead of sideways. I just thought they looked a bit better. Put the front bumper on. Give us a door. We hardly wouldn't ever set the window there, which was very strange. Tail lights in. I could have had them clear, but I think the red kind of sets the a little bit of a difference on the back of the car. Oh, no, hold on. Let's put the original back on. That one. Right, she's starting to come together. Can I get this? Is that glass there? Yes, it is. Strange, I don't remember putting that on. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let's get her into paint. I still need to buy the interior and clean it, so we'll do that as soon as we come back out. Let's just go in here. Now, I said I wanted to keep her looking standard, so... Set factory, paint. Let's have a look at the livery. I don't like any of them. Let's go chrome. Ah, it's too much. It's far too much. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I did want to keep it standard, but it looks a bit flat. So, let's go with that. It is standard, it's just got that chameleon, chameleon, however you say it, on. Back her out. We'll get her out the front, get some material into her, and uh, get her balloted, and job is a good one. I can't remember if I've had it at the start of the episode or not, but I'm going to put this over there just in case. Let's have a quick look at her. Yeah, interior conditions are lifting, so let's get some brand new seats. I can't remember if any of these uh, made it. I'm just buying it just in case. We'll find out. No, none of the seats did. Did the steering wheel make the cut? No, so we need a new one of them, anyways. Normal mode. Only $100 for the DC Typhoon. That's what I'm talking about. Right, everything. Global body condition. Why are you an 84%? Front right door window. I mustn't have took it off. And what is clip B? Front license plate. Right, yeah, we've got to do that. Let's strip you. Assemble mode. Yeah, I mustn't have took it off the car while we're working on it. So that's been on the full time. Um, let's buy some license plates. I'm sure there was ones that were called plain. Maybe I spelt that incorrectly. No, I spelt it as a plain plane and it didn't work. Uh, what am I doing? Delete that. Search nothing. Where is it? I'm sure there's one called plain. Just a plain white one. I think it's round about the centre as you're scrolling. Standard every time. Every time. I wonder what clip B is. It's really bugging us. There we go. Maxed out 100%. Is clip B still sitting really bad though? I want to know. Clip B and clip B. So, 
We don't know what they are. I can't remember taking them off. So we'll have to figure that one out. But there she is. That is the AC Cobra. Or the Shelby Cobra, depending on where you're from. In the game it's called the DC Typhoon. Kinda like the paint job on it. Really like it. Should have put some bigger wheels on though with them being chrome. I might change them out myself. Keep it to one side. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to stick a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.